Hi everyone, welcome to WeTV, this is Chris, and today on I Can Make, we are going to make... Ta-da! Well, not quite like that, but we're going to do some stuff with clothespins, because I just bought some clothespins for our little tumbling man project, and I thought, wow, I have all these leftover clothespins. What am I going to do with them? Make stuff, of course. So, what are we going to make? Well, let's talk about what we need first. First, we're going to use our clothespins, and we're also going to use toothpicks. Maybe you could use some popsicle sticks, uh, some straws. If you have these things around, use them. If not, that's okay. Uh, we can also use some buttons, maybe some eyes, maybe some colorful paper, lots of things that you can use, you probably have around the house, and of course, some paint. So, what are we going to do? As for tools, you're going to need a glue gun. Probably not much else. Maybe a paintbrush. Okay, let's go through our steps. First, we want to paint or draw on the clothespins, however we want them to look. Then we can glue eyes on the clothespins. We can paint or draw on clothespins and then cut two pieces of straw, place them into the clothespin, place toothpicks inside the straws, we're gonna make a little car, and then we can glue buttons to those toothpicks and it will look like a little car, okay? This one's going to look like a little animal. Uh, here we can draw on some paper, we cut out the drawing that we made, and then we just glue the clothespins or clip the clothespins to it and we can make a little animal. So are you ready? Let's make, it's going to be fun. So the first one that I want to do is I just want to paint the uh, clothespin and I really liked those alligators at the beginning so I'm going to make something like that. Let's get some green paint going. Because I'm one of those people that always paints my fingers. Look at that, I already got paint on my finger. And now I can simply take a couple of little eyes, put a little glue up here, and put the eyes in place. So, not quite an alligator, but I still think it's very cute. It could be a frog. Uh, you know, if I want to, I could even take my toothpicks or my popsicle sticks and I could make those into legs. You know what, let's do that. Ooh, I have an idea. Something a little different that I hadn't thought of before. So I'm going to get some toothpicks and I'm going to take a couple of these and bend them, break them in a certain way. I'm gonna go ahead and let's just do one side at a time. So. That one there, and I think I'll just break this toothpick and use half of it at one point and half of it at the other. All right, we'll let that one dry. And while that's drying, we'll work on another one. Let's go ahead and do one of those cars. And I had a different idea about how to do this. First, I'm going to take the clothespin apart And I want two clothespins. And I'm going to glue them together side by side. And when I'm doing this, I want to make sure that the holes line up pretty well. I'll glue up the tops side by side. And the straw. How much straw do we need? And I don't need to, but I'm going to glue the straw in place anyway. All right, so that's together. Now I can put the toothpick through. And the toothpicks are a little big. I don't like that so, so big. I'm gonna cut just a little off these toothpicks. Maybe I'll just cut the ends, the pointy parts off. See how that looks? 
that's better. Okay, so now what I decided to do was to go a little bit more crazy and instead of using buttons for wheels, I'm going to use these big eyes for wheels. So I put a big glob of glue there and stick this in it vertically. Going to have to hold that a little. There we go. That's a good height. Good. We need to let these dry just a little, and once they're cooled and the glue is a little more set, we'll be able to take it out and show it. Like I can show you now this. Look, I made a little grasshopper. Oh, the legs are a little weird. <laughs> I like the little grasshopper. I think that's cute. Uh-oh, my wheels are too big. <laughs> the wheels are too big. They hit each other. Eh, it'll still be fun. It'll still work out. Let's go ahead and glue these other ones up. Ta-da! So we now have a little car to go with our little grasshopper. Let me think, what else could we make? Everything's falling over. Let's do a double one of these. All right, this should be neat. One bad thing about glue guns is the stuff so stringy. Stringy. And now I've made a little wee airplane. Wee! So we need to let this dry. One more. All right, now let's get our colored paper out. Wow, that is bright, this color. I'm going to put these eyes in place. And while I've got a moment, let's do a little painting. And I'm putting this on both sides so that no matter what side you look at, you're looking at the front. And now that I've got my faces, I can use some clips for legs. And I guess I could even, you know what? Maybe we should use sticks. Choose the sticks for arms. Ta da <laughs> All right, so we have made a lot of things now. So look, I've made four different things. I made a little car, which I think is really cool, even though it doesn't drive, <laughs> it's still fun. <laughs> I made a grasshopper, which I think the grasshopper is really cute. I like that. I made this pig. And then I made this airplane. And of course, the airplane is actually my favorite thing. 
So there you have it. I've made four different things from clothespins, and you can do the same thing at home. Just use your imagination, and you can make almost anything you want. I hope to see all the stuff that you guys create, and I hope it's even cooler than the stuff that I made. And I hope to see you next time on WeTV. Goodbye, everyone.